For many, the only way out was this, taking a zip line to safety. We had several storm chasers in the state capturing this intense video. People in Estes Park zip lining over rushing water, forced to leave with just the clothes on their back. And they weren't the only ones escaping the rushing waters with just the clothes they were wearing. The Air National Guard coming to the rescue of thousands, pulling them from the flood waters. One year later, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen sits down with some of those heroes. Daring rescues around the clock for several days. City and county heroes braving high water, saving lives with rafts, zip lines, and ladder trucks. They told us to wait until they could get the ladder up to the balcony, and then everybody leashed their pet, and they're taking the people across. First responders say they're just doing their job, but Jeff Ryder says he was just being a good neighbor. And we heard this massive rock slide come down. In Boulder Canyon, a house on Jeff Street gets hit hard and his neighbor Will is trapped inside overnight. He'd been in this bed all night long. The mud had, had filled up, you know, essentially level with the bed. He was wet, he was cold, he was hyperthermic. With the help of these tree trimmers, they carry Will down the hill where they meet up with some Boulder cops and an ambulance. They took Will and, um, you know, and, and, and treated him for hyperthermia and a couple other, you know, uh, of injuries. There were a lot of cases of neighbors helping neighbors in this massive and overwhelming disaster and Jeff believes that played a huge role in the amount of lives saved. You know to allow the community to kind of look out for themselves because you know there's only so much that the first responders can do. Some of the most heroic work was done by the Colorado National Guard helping active duty soldiers evacuate more than 2,500 people by air and another 700 on the ground. As we came around a bend, we turned right and noticed a guy carrying a girl or a body down. Uh, six, uh, six. On an early recon flight into Left Hand Canyon, this Blackhawk crew spots a man in distress. This situation is serious at this point. We're, we've come to just taking people from A to B to rescuing and, and possibly saving lives. Low on fuel and nowhere to land, the crew decides to use their hoist. Two medics are lowered to the ground while the chopper leaves for gas. We arrived and she wasn't really conscious much at all. It switches from a rescue to a medical patient, so it's a life that needs to be saved on the ground. Mike Connolly, a paramedic with Longmont Fire Rescue, was assigned to fly with the guard that day. Well, everybody was very concerned, you know, uh, being cut off, uh, not having any resources able to get there. Uh, having an emergency like that is, is pretty serious. They were able to get to the patient and get her out quick. We couldn't do it without the aircraft we had, this aircraft specifically having a hoist. A total of 83 people were lifted out of the flood using a hoist. It's the greatest feeling possible, especially as a helicopter pilot. You know, we can take an aircraft that's capable of almost anything and putting it to its maximum potential for, for good use. Elation, it feels good. Anytime we can get somebody out with a heartbeat, it always feels great. I mean, that's the mission that we're there for. In Boulder County, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 7 News.